Let us take brief review of some theories that led to the foundation of quantum mechanics. So first is black body radiation. A black body emits radiation when it is in thermal contact with surroundings. The radiations contain all the wavelengths ranging from zero to infinite. From general thermodynamic arguments, Kirchhoff showed that the distribution of black body radiation is independent of nature of the black body. That is, materials of the wall of the black body and depends only on its temperature T. Using the idea of pressure exerted by radiations on the walls of the black body, Stefan and Boltzmann showed that the total energy density was proportional to the fourth power of absolute temperature of the black body. That is, E is proportional to fourth power of T. Stefan's law of black body radiation is thus given by E is equal to sigma T power to 4 where sigma is Stefan's constant. Its value is 5.67 into 10 power to minus 8 watt per meter square K power to 4. The law was experimentally verified and found satisfactory. However, this law does not tell anything about the energy distribution with respect to individual wavelengths. Wien in 1893 established displacement laws, which are lambda t is equal to constant. This is equation 1. Et power to minus 5 is equal to constant. This is equation 2. Where lambda is the wavelength corresponding to the temperature T and E is emissivity of the black body. Combining these two laws and using Maxwell distribution, Wien obtained following law. E lambda d lambda is equal to A divided by lambda power to minus 5 E power to minus B by lambda T d lambda. This is equation 3, where A and B are constants. It was observed that this law is valid only for the short wavelength region. In 1900, Rayleigh and Jeans approached the energy distribution problem differently. They obtained following law. E lambda, D lambda is equal to 8 pi kT divided by lambda power to 4 D lambda. Equation 4, where K is the Boltzmann constant. This formula agrees with the experimental results in the long wavelength region but fails totally in the short wavelength region. Thus, all attempts to obtain a single formula valid over the entire range of the wavelengths using classical ideas about radiation failed miserably. Planck proposed a new formula for black body radiation. According to him, each oscillator in the black body surface emits energy not continuously but in the discrete packets of energy E is equal to 0, epsilon, 2 epsilon, 3 epsilon, 4, etc. where epsilon is packet of energy called quanta. And epsilon is equal to H nu. H is called Planck's constant having value 6.6 to 5 into 10 power to minus 34 joule second. This is called quantization of energy. With this idea, Planck successfully explained the black body radiation. He obtained formula for energy density as E lambda D lambda is equal to 8 pi hc divided by lambda power to 5 into 1 by E power to hc by lambda kt minus 1 D lambda. Equation 5. This is Planck's radiation formula. This is in exact agreement with the experimental results. It is observed that for small wavelengths, Planck's law reduces to Wien's formula and for longer wavelengths, it reduces to Rayleigh and Jean's formula. It was observed by Leonard that when ultraviolet light was incident upon a metal surface like aluminum, electrons are ejected from the surface. The ejection of electrons from the metal surface when light is incident on it is called photoelectric effect and the ejected electrons are called photoelectrons. It was observed experimentally that when the frequency of incident radiation was changed, the energy of photoelectrons also changed. The energy of photoelectrons is independent of intensity of incident radiation. Electrons are not emitted from the metal surface when frequency of incident radiation is less than certain frequency. This frequency 
below which there is no emission of electrons, is called threshold frequency. These are three major features of the photoelectric effect that could not be explained on the basis of classical wave theory of radiations. According to classical wave theory of light, one could expect that if the intensity of the incident radiations is increased, the energy of the photoelectrons would increase and not their numbers. The photoelectric effect should occur for any frequency, provided that the light of sufficient intensity falls on the surface to eject electrons. If light of feeble intensity falls on the metal surface, there will be large time required to absorb sufficient light to eject electrons. That is, there should be time lag in the ejection of electrons. However, it is observed that the photoelectric effect is instantaneous and no time lag is observed. In order to provide satisfactory explanation for Leonard's experimental observations, Einstein proposed a new revolutionary theory in 1905. According to him, the light, electromagnetic radiation, that is incident upon a metal surface consists of bundles, called quanta, of energy, which later came to be called photons. He assumed that energy E of each bundle or photon is related to its frequency nu by the relation E is equal to H nu, where H is Planck's constant. When such a photon is incident on the surface, all its energy is absorbed by the surface. Part of the energy is used to eject the electron and remaining is given as kinetic energy to the electron. Kinetic energy of the ejected electron is given as Ke is equal to H nu minus W, where W is called the work function and it is the energy required to remove the electron from the metal surface. Theoretical prediction based on the Einstein's photon hypothesis satisfied all the experimental results. In 1921, Einstein received the Nobel Prize for predicting theoretically the law of photoelectric effect.